Sing. Not sure where. <clears throat> I'm confused. I mean, did she? He ended up pleading guilty to the incident from that particular day. And it says right here, bruising, choking on that. Face bruised. That's neck. the detective's complaint, though. That's what the detective she wasn't, The whole idea is she's not a witness. The detective just didn't blindly. Yeah. I think you can ask if she told the detective that. I think it's okay. fair game at this point. She's. I mean, how do we know that that's not dealing with what happened the week before that she's talking about? It doesn't say that. Because sometimes they charge DV stuff that happened before. And that is pretty. I gotta work with Kramer and all those guys. Uh, third division. She's Hold on. Let me take a look at this. According to this, and this is she states that on June 22nd, which was this particular day, that he struck victim in the face with fist, causing a bruise to victim's left cheek. So I think you could ask this. Trying to, he said, you have to impeach with someone's own statement. You're not allowed to impeach with anything. You can only impeach under the rule. You can refresh recollection with anything, but you can only impeach with a statement, or you can impeach with a, obviously, a tape statement or video statement. I read that as being. According to Detective uh, Gibson. De Detective Gibson, that's what the witness told her. He's already asked if the detective is a witness to the to the incident. She said no. There's no other way that the detective would have had that information to put in the report, but for getting it from. Her. I would just object. It's improper impeachment. Thank you. Sir.